Last time, Leon flirted with Mary and they got a little bit cozy. A little bit too cozy for a lady who is in what seems to be a very well-functioning relationship. And they weren't even drunk. Mm-hmm. There was also a little bit of tension when they played beer pong, which was a very scandalous. But I had this paused and thought this was kind of funny. Mary's sitting over here in the common room. This guy over here in his room is just thinking about Mary. Lorenzo, get in line, my dude, because Leon's coming for you. I don't know why, but Leon and everyone else in this dorm is up at 5 a.m. in the morning, so that's just great. I'm gonna get him to do some homework very quickly because he has class in eight hours. Oh, what is going on here? Oh my goodness. Okay, everyone's just walking into his dorm. Rico, I'm gonna need you to put some clothes on, my girl. Okay. Oh, Mary does not want to be in the same room as Leon. Leon is constantly practicing programming for some reason. Oh, and he's hanging out with Mary's two friends. He's trying to get his ends with the girlfriends, huh? Aw, and he's thinking about me. Glenn has messaged us. Let's go out and enjoy the day. Well, kind of awkward, but sure. Might be a little bit weird for Leon and Glenn to hang out, but they used to be friends before him and Mary started dating. So uh, they've come to the Botanical Gardens, which is a very interesting location for a hangout with the friends. Let's get them to go and play some chess together. I don't know. <laughs> Leon is only just acquiring the logic skill. <laughs> Thought Leon was supposed to be big brain. Anyway, I like to think that uh, Glenn has invited Leon here because he's sensed a little bit of a tension between the two of them. But it seems like these guys are getting on. I feel like Leon's probably a bit like, mm, seems weird to be so sassy towards this man when he was originally my friend. Oh, it's snowing. It's snowing. Okay, great. Did Glenn just leave us? Oh, wow, Glenn. Wow. Oh, wait, he's gone to go and play some piano. Great. And Leon's gone to go and make himself a drink. Probably because he's like, well, fuck, now I need to just accept the fact that my best friend is dating my other best friend. Well, Glenn's not really a best friend, but he's a friend. So at nine in the morning, he's making himself a drink. What have you made yourself, boy? A screwdriver. I don't know what that is, but it doesn't sound non-alcoholic. <laughs> this is actually the place that uh, Leon's grandparents got married. So let's pop on home before Leon gets too drunk uh, in the morning. Oh my, Mary, you really be going off the rails, girly. You've got a lecture to go to. <gasps> oh my God, she's so late. What is up with you? She used to be such a good girl and now she's just being crazy. Craziness, I tell you. <gasps> what? Leon has brought his drink back with him. Leon, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, Leon's gonna go to the toilet and then we can get him to do a little bit more of his homework. Last time we also got Leon a little easel because he is actually doing fine art. So I thought it might be nice for him to work on this a little bit. Maybe like some impressionist painting? Mary showed up to class, but wasn't as prepared as she should have been. Probably could have gotten more out of the class. Wow, Mary, I... <sighs> Honestly, what are we gonna do with you, girly? Yeah, you just do it straight outside your lecture hall, hun. All right, uh, Leon has creepily just gone into someone else's room. Great. Leon has definitely made some questionable decisions in the last couple weeks. So I feel like maybe talking to Glenn hopefully is helping to change his opinions a little bit. <laughs> I love this. People like trying to distract her and she's like, I am doing homework right now. Oh, her friends have come out as well. Give final presentation. Wait, I thought this was something we had to hand in. She is so far behind on homework. I cannot even tell you. How are you going on your painting? Oh shit, this is actually kind of crazy. Maybe we can put this on our wall or something. Oh, damn! Look at that, that is dope. It doesn't line up very well, but I like that. He's got some like wall art or something. All right, Leon is off to class. Okay, so are we just gonna give our presentation here? Oh, she's giving it at the lecture theater. Okay, great. What? Leon is currently in an exam? Wait, he needs to give his presentation as well. Oh God. 
how did it go? Leon put in enough work to get a decent grade out of that class. Ugh. Stress. Oh, and Mary's out of her presentation as well. And she needs to go away. Great. Oh, damn, what is going on over here? This is awesome. Okay, well, it's all going on over here. Can we play beer pong against Aaron? I wanna see some spicy competition, fam. I believe in you, Mary, you can do this. This is so cute, I love this. All right, Leon is also out of his presentation. I guess we don't find out how it went until later. Oh, Michelle is here. Oh my God, I didn't even realize that Michelle had turned up and all the face paint and everything. Oh my God, Mary won. Oh, he would hate that. I love it. All right, Leon seems to be getting on well with Maurice, which is good. Seems like he's uh, cooled himself down a little bit. Um, so I'm actually gonna get him to go and tell Michelle that he wants to cool off their romance. I feel like they don't have super close romance, so it's not gonna be that crazy, but I feel like she was probably gonna be a little bit upset. I mean, he did just like sleep with her and then leave. What? <laughs> Enrollment suspended. We got an F in brushwork and Baroque, and we got a B in figure drawing. Oh my God. Leon is now suspended from university. He cannot register for courses for the next five days. He will need to find another housing until he can roll in university again. Oh my God. I did not see it going this way. I thought we were doing so well. Oh God, I hate to think how Mary's gonna do. He's not even sad about it as well. He's just happy about being polite to his friends. Kind of awkward to like pretty much break it off with her while she's like celebrating her university. Oh, she's so unhappy. <gasps> They've decided to cool off their romantic relationship. Oh, the bar's just empty now. Oh no, Mary wet herself? Yikes, and she's tipsy. And she's feeling flirty. Okay. What, what is going on here? How about no? Oh my God, Leon has to move out of university? That's so awkward, Leon. Okay. It is Saturday morning after Leon has received his final grades and he has dragged himself back to his parents' house to stay the night here because he has been kicked out of his dorm. He left without saying goodbye to Mary. Megan and Alfonso don't know that he's arrived home yet. I think I'm gonna get Carly to come down and uh, give him a bit of a cuddle. Oh, this is so nice. I love that. That makes me so happy. My heart is warmed. Even if, Le even if Leon is kind of in a bit of a rough spot, he's still got his family. So yeah, Leon hasn't really been home very much or seen his family for much of his semester. So he's, uh, he's definitely not gonna tell them that he's just straight up dropped out of university. Uh, Cause I think he would be a little bit ashamed. But we're gonna tell Carly, we're gonna share a secret with her. Oh, and Alfonso is up. This is Leon's mother, Megan, who you will know if you watch the Rags to Riches series, and she is just a bad bitch, let me tell ya. Megan isn't really one for homemaking, so I'm gonna get Alfonso as the stay-at-home dad to make a grand meal for the arrival home of Leon. And I'm gonna get Megan to go and swim some laps in the pool. <laughs> Oh, that walk, I do not miss it. Nope. All right, so I'm gonna get Alfonso to call everyone to the grand meal. Oh, I think we're doing it. My goodness. Oh, Megan just waltzing in in a bikini. No, Megan, come on. <laughs> come and sit at the table. She's just sitting up at the bar stool. We're gonna get Megan to ask Leon about his future plans. Maybe ask him how his degree is going. So what I think would be really cool is if Leon told the family that he wanted to go and pursue uh, music, uh, but he hasn't exactly told her that he's dropping out to pursue music. So Leon is feeling very pleased about that. So he is going to clean up for everyone and he is going to organize to move out to his new place, which he is gonna be living now that he isn't allowed to stay in the university dorms. 
So I'm gonna get Leon to grab this laptop. I'll get him to grab some photos of Mary as well. And uh, he's just taking a moment in his old room to have a, have a think about his life. I wanna say let's stay in Brightchester because then if Megan comes to visit him, his mother, then at least he'll be like, look, I'm staying in university housing. But everything is taken currently. So that's not good. Maybe we should try Oasis Springs. I never stay in Oasis Springs, but it could be good looks. Oh my God, I love that. Oh my God, we could move into a trailer. Oh my God, I'm so keen. Okay, new house, let's go. University dropout. It is a trailer, but I ain't mad, okay. I think probably the owners have just left their stuff here and it's probably not the kind of decor that he's keen on. So we'll give it a little bit of a change up. But before we do, I want to invite over Jules to our house. There he is. Jules will be right over. So this is Jules. He is a friend of Leon's and uh, he's also done a very artsy degree. I don't know how well he's done in this degree, but Leon will be wanting someone to help him out with the rent because he doesn't have an income at all. Let's talk about cooking with him and Bye. invite him into our new house. Oh my God, Glenn is messaging us. Do you want to hang out tonight at the ancient ruins? I think probably we wouldn't want to face Glenn right now for various reasons. So I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to get Leon to share a secret with Jules and uh, let him know that we have actually dropped out of university. Doesn't seem like he really cares that much, but we'll tell him a dramatic story about how we've moved into this trailer and uh, we're potentially looking for a roommate to live with us. It's going to be great, Jules. You're going to love living with us. Leon isn't the most chaotic sim out. So, uh, this is the bedroom situation currently. I think we can get another bed. They can share a room. We can sell that light. I'm going to sell that. You know, this situation is fine. This is all good. So, uh, he's bought some equipment and he's got some stuff already here. He's got this one awkward chair here and he's got his laptop. I think the first thing is that he's probably going to go and research odd jobs because he's going to need some money to be able to afford the rent here. Prepaid beach cleaning volunteer work. Uh, I made a huge order from Babs Waffles, but I'm too far away. Oh, we can pick up your order and we don't need any skills. Amazing. Oh, off he goes. Oh, hell yeah. Success. He earned $36. That's not the best. <laughs> I'm gonna get Jules to go and uh, ask Leon if they can go out for the night. It's a Saturday night, it's 10 p.m. Leon does not seem keen. He seems like he'll he'll go for it. Let's go to something local, the Rattlesnake Juice Bar. And little does Leon know, uh, Jules is going to be inviting all of the peoples, Mary, Wesley, Glenn, yeah. And Michelle, this is gonna go down great. <laughs> Sims looking for love are in the right place. It's singles night. Leon has uh, just noticed that Glenn and Mary have been invited out as well and is feeling some kind of way about that. Let's get him to talk to Glenn and uh, Wesley, his uncle. I think also he's gonna let Mary know what's happened. So I'm gonna get him to go over and dance with her. Michelle has completely ignored everyone. Oh, Leon has gone to go and make himself a drink. Okay, but he's feeling very confident, so that's great. Mary's probably asking him, what the hell was wrong with the dorm? Like, weren't you enjoying university? Didn't you love your degree? And he's like, yeah, yeah, I, I like it. I just feel like my living situation is not the best. So uh, Leon, in true Leon fashion, is gonna go and play some piano because he really be like that. Oh boy, get it! Oh my god. Oh, people are enjoying! <gasps> what? We earned some cash! Oh my goodness, Mary is off. Lady is angry for some reason. Oh my god. And off she goes. She's like, I've been abandoned by my friend. He doesn't even want to talk to me. 
What the hell is going on? But Leon is, uh, Leon is having a good old time. I want to see how much Leon can earn from this. I'm going to get him to play a concerto. Oh, we getting some more monies. I love to see it. We've already earned almost more than we did on our odd job today. And there we go. We've, we've earned more. Leon's just fucking it up, being a badass. So uh, the boys have had a good night, so I think we'll send them home. All right, it's 1 a.m. Let's get the boys to bed. Oh, look at this in their shared twin room. <laughs> Amazing. Jules, this class starts in about one hour. So uh, I'm gonna get Jules to uh, let Leon know that uh, he thinks he should apply to be an entertainer since he's not gonna be going back to university for probably a hot minute. He needs to make a living and it's not gonna be from doing odd jobs. I think probably Leon would be good in an entertainment career. Jules and Leon became good friends. <gasps> That's so nice. And we have made him a lovely breakfast. All right, well, Leon's feeling a bit better about himself this morning. He's feeling like he's uh, got something to go towards. I think we can just get him to find a job right now. And we got one here. So uh, it looks like he's going to be getting into music. He's now hiring, now hiring C-lister. And he wants a baby, great. Leon is now a C-lister at Limelight. He starts Thursday at 5 p.m. Thursday? Are you for real? Oh, his day's off for Tuesday and Wednesday. So it's nice to see Leon working on something that uh, he's actually interested in. He's got a new place, even if it isn't most glamorous, he's doing it for himself. Yeah, I'm... I'm happy. I think this is kind of cool. I definitely want to continue to follow Mary's story because obviously they have, they're not out of each other's lives or anything. Even if Leon has made everything very strange for them, I'll admit. So we might start with her next time. Let me know what you think about this episode and everything. And uh, I'll hopefully see you guys next time. Bye.